Now guys, before we show you how to uh, weld and cut with the gun, how to set it up, there's one thing I want you to do. Pull the instructional book out, go right inside the safety instructions. Read and adhere to those safety instructions. We want to keep you guys safe. We want you to enjoy the welding and cutting experience with our torch. Now we're going to go right into setting it up. That's very important with this torch. All right, now when you set it up, what you want to do right here is come to your regulators, back the pressure off. There's nothing coming to the gun. Open the valves on your tank. Open your valves. Two full turns right here. That way you're fully open here. Now you're going to put your number three tip on. That's the one that has three rings on it. So we've backed the pressure off our regulators. You can see we have no pressure coming to the torch. We've opened the valves on the tank. We are fully open. Open these two full turns. We're going to come down to this set lane, start turning it in until you get a little flow right here. We're going to light it, go to four pounds. Then we're going to come over here to the oxygen and start turning it in until we get a neutral flame right here. So we'll turn the settling in, listening for a little bit of flow coming out of the gun. All right, we'll go up to a little over four pounds. All right, come here and turn the oxygen in. Right there. You can see just as that feather disappears right there, you're set. All right, go and cut the oxygen off first. And then the acetylene. Now we're ready to weld. Now that's the standard way to set it up. Now if you want to do it using our new low pressure regulators, our regulators are excellent. They're made in America, have a five year warranty on them. All right, so we come back. This is if you have the Cobra regulators, the new ones. Open the valves right here. All we're going to do is just bleed the line, then go back and close it. Bleed the line, go back and close it. So all I'm going to do is come over here and just run that pressure up to about five pounds on each one of them because once we open the torch up, it's going to drop back. All right, the acetylene, just a little bit of oxygen. All right, then you can adjust it any way you want it right here. Now, you should be reading four pounds each on those gauges. If you have to adjust it any at all, you can just barely touch it, but you got four pounds and four pounds. That's all you need to weld with this gun. Now we're ready to weld with it. Always cut the oxygen off first, then the acetylene. Now we're ready to weld with our Cobra Torch.